In this video, we're going to cover manually updating the firmware on the R4G Lite and the R4G. So to start, you're going to need a laptop with an SD card reader. You can buy SD card readers from Amazon. You can go to your local retail store as well. They're relatively cheap if your computer or laptop does not support them. We don't recommend using any mobile phone or tablet to do this process. So if you don't have a computer or desktop, you can visit blackgatehunting.com and we do sell SD cards with the latest firmware version installed. All right, so for this example, we're gonna be using a MacBook Pro. The example I'm going to show here on the desktop is for Mac, but the process is very similar with Windows. So let's hop over here to the laptop and get started. So to get started, we're gonna to go to blackgatemobile.com and log in with our account. Once you're logged in, you're gonna see firmware downloads on the left-hand side. Go ahead and click that and it's gonna take you to the firmware downloads page. Now this is where all the firmware downloads that we provide at Blackgate are located. You'll see that there's R4G device and R4G Lite devices. These are the latest stable versions of firmware we have for the devices at the time. So we're gonna install the R4G Lite, which is version 069, and we're gonna go ahead and click download firmware. Wait for the firmware to download, and then we're gonna open up that file. All right, so we had the file downloaded here in our folder. On Windows, it'll look slightly different, but it'll be relatively the same. Here's the file that we downloaded, and here's our SD card. One thing we wanna mention is that the SD card should not have any files on that card at all when you're doing a firmware update. So if you have videos or photos or other text files or a log file, go ahead and either delete them or remove those photos or videos and put them on your desktop to back them up. Once that SD card has been completely cleaned, we're gonna go ahead and open up the zip file that we've downloaded. So the zip file for the R4G Lite will say R4G underscore Lite and whatever the version number is. So on Windows, you can right click and click extract here. For Macintosh or Mac, we're just going to double click and it's gonna open up. You're going to see a folder and inside that folder we're just going to double click and you're going to see two files these two files are required to update the firmware on both devices what we're going to do is we're simply going to highlight both of these files and we're going to drag them right into the root of the sd card once those files have transferred completely and successfully we're now ready to install the firmware on the r4g Lite. So now that we've removed our SD card from the computer and our firmware files are on the device, we're gonna ensure that the device is in the off position and that we have good batteries. Go ahead and insert that SD card. Once you're ready to perform the update, just go ahead and turn the device on. You're gonna see the device start up and then all of the LED lights are gonna flash on the R4G light. This is indicating that the firmware is now updating on the device. Do not turn off the device when this is doing this. It should only take about 30 seconds. So we're just gonna sit here and wait for the firmware to update. Now that the device has finished flashing, it is done updating the firmware on the device. We recommend removing the SD card and inserting a new SD card into the device so that the device will function properly. You can either reformat the firmware SD card or you can simply just keep it off to the side for a firmware card to use on other devices. Once you've inserted a new SD card into the device, go ahead and turn it on and let it boot up. You can verify that the firmware has been updated by visiting the Blackgate mobile app, clicking on devices, and then finding the camera name. And underneath that camera name, you should see that the firmware version has been updated. All right, so following the same processes we just used to download the firmware for the R4G Lite, we're gonna do the same for the R4G. All you have to do is go to blackgatemobile.com and ensure that you download the R4G firmware. Once you've downloaded the R4G firmware on the SD card, go ahead and remove the SD card and insert it into your R4G. On the R4G, what you're going to do is you're gonna turn on the device. Once the device starts up and recognize that there's firmware update on the SD card, it's gonna ask you to perform a firmware update. Simply click yes. Once the firmware is updated on the device, you can go ahead and remove that card and simply do what we did with another card. Either put that firmware card off to the side or reformat that card to be used back in the camera itself. 